Hello guys, today we're going to be doing part 2 on how to build the PNW SD70M-2. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video today. And I already built part 1 a while ago, but anyway, let's get started. So, first let's, well first to start off, I'm going to clear my inventory. Let's grab... I'm actually confused on what I should grab. Okay, so grab the orange concrete and black carpet. Oh, sorry about that. This corner block is actually this. Because you see, it's supposed to show orange in there. Anyway, um, so <clears throat> let's grab the orange concrete and let's start the back. So let's grab the bedrock, and the black concrete, and the orange concrete, and let's place a bedrock right here, and then more orange on this row, then all of it's black, and then more orange with the bedrock, and then two more rows of bedrock as well. And then starting on the bottom row, let's add orange concrete coming all the way to until it stops when it's five like when it's wider right here after that just keep adding orange until we get to here then with the black we're going to do the same thing and then let's work on the left side so let's grab the orange concrete, red sandstone wall, stripped acacia wood, bedrock, yellow wool, and black carpet. So leave a block from here and add a 2x3 of orange concrete. Then after that on the top right block add another orange. And then I have a stripped acacia wood on this block. Then going to block in, let's add two orange concrete and then a black. Followed by three red sandstone walls right here. And then let's add black carpet above it. And then behind it, let's add a yellow wool. Above these two blocks, add bedrock. And then add an orange concrete underneath here. Then next build is sideways 2x3. Now after that, add a row of black concrete going all the way across in the middle. And let's grab the let's grab the oak slab and with the oak slab, let's start from this block behind all this orange row. And add a row of oak slabs, and we'll stop right before the this like before this yellow wool here. And uh, let's grab the black carpet, and above all this stuff, all the way stopping at the bedrock, let's add black carpet. And then let's grab the stone button, the birch button, and the dark oak button. And underneath this acacia wood, let's add a dark oak button. And let's also add another one underneath the yellow wool. And on the yellow wool, and on the blocks either side of it, add a birch button. And then let's add a stone on this top block here. Next, let's grab a... Uh, Actually, let's get orange concrete and yellow wool, and let's add a 2x2 two two of orange concrete. Leave a block, add a 2x8, 2, 2, Note, in this row that's not filled in, add a yellow wool, and then an orange concrete. Now let's grab the stone button, and the burst button. And starting from the stone button, let's add six more stone buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
then go down diagonal block, add three stone buttons, a birch button, and then a stone button. Now remember that sign in the first part we made that says P and W? Get put that sign over on this yellow wool too. Now let's grab bedrock because we're gonna have to like change this row to a sideways two by three bedrock. And this here will be destroyed and add a black concrete curving in there. Now the next block doesn't really have the same thing. Now next step, let's add, let's get a lectern, a piston, a chiseled quartz block, orange concrete, dark oak buttons, and ladders, and add two chiseled quartz blocks right above this bedrock, and on the chisel quartz block closest to the back, add a dark oak button. And then above that, add two orange concretes and add ladders above. Next, add a le lectern right here with a piston above it. Then let's add an orange concrete. Now let's go like... You see this block with the end with the stone button? Grab the black concrete. Black concrete. And then up here, let's add a row of three black concrete right there. And then grab the nether brick slab and add a row of nether brick slabs right here. And then grab daylight detector, and above here, let's add a row of daylight detectors with, and right click every one of them. Now let's work on the right side a bit because we need to get that done. So add like a 2 by, let me check, a 2 by, 2 by 7 of it. So it's 2 by 1, 2 by 2, 2 by 3, 2 by Six, seven, two by seven. Now, underneath. Okay, get rid of all these blocks. Um, let's grab the dark oak fence gate, and on this one here, add a dark oak fence gate. And then let's grab the yellow wool, the black concrete, and the orange concrete. And underneath this horn right here, let's add a uh, yellow wool. Oh wait, we already got that row done. Cool. Then with the orange concrete, add three going to the right there. And then let's add a yellow wool. And then above these three blocks, add more orange concrete. And this time, let's add two by seven of orange concrete. And then after that, grab the birch button and add one on this yellow wool and one to the right of it. And then let's add another one of those P and W signs on that, that yellow wool as well. And let's grab stone button and add six right here. And then go diagonal down and add four. I'm thinking what to do next. Uh, let's grab the black carpet and the dark oak trapdoor, and all the way to here, add black carpet. And this here is going to be a two by three of dark oak trapdoors. Next, let's grab daylight detector and fill in that part with daylight detectors, and right click them all once. Next, let's grab oak slab and fill in this row of oak slabs right here. And I don't think any more fence gates will be closing over here anymore. That's good. It should stop now. Now let's grab bedrock. Grab orange concrete, black concrete, bedrock, stone button, 
Chisel the quartz block, dark oak button, ladders, and black carpet. Then let's add three black concrete up here, followed by two orange concrete over there. And then add black carpet above all this, like all this orange. Then right here, add two ladders. Underneath that, two chiseled quartz blocks with a dark oak button underneath this block here. Oh wait, no. It's more closer to the back, over here. And then add a sideways 2x3 underneath the chiseled quartz block. And add 3 right here. And then fill all that in with orange and add a stone button. Next, let's grab another brick slab, another brick stairs, and black concrete. And in these blocks right here, let's add black concrete, and I'm just going to fill those in. And <laughs> um, make all the stairs go back to back on this block. And on this one, just make these three go. And then fill the rest of these blocks in with nether brick slabs. And then we basically just gonna, like, build this back part here. Build this thing here, and then build the railing, and we're done. So let's grab nether brick stairs and acacia stairs. And add nether brick stairs, just a row across there. And then a row of acacia stairs right there. Do the same thing on the other side as well. So that's like the little vent thing. Now let's grab ladders, birch fence gate, and acacia sign. This time without the PW. On this block, press enter. And the same number you have on the front, you're going to type again on the back. I did 4301. You can do that too. And then on this block, add a birch trapdoor and open it. And then on this block, let's add a row of ladders. Now for the railing, which is the trickiest part. So let's grab oak fence, oak trapdoor, and oak slab. And then I gotta do one more thing. Before I do the railing, by the way, which is the one more thing I was talking about, get black stained glass paint and item frames. And I'm not going to use door banners anymore, I'm just going to do this. Add the item frames and then black stained glass paint. And if it's a dark like black train, just do gray stained glass paint. But this is a lighter one, so just do like black stained glass paint. Now let's grab the oak fence. Now two oak fence above all these ladders. And then go diagonal down block, add two here. Two here, two here, two here, and we'll just keep leaving two blocks until we end up getting here, and then add two more blocks above this. And after that, let's get the oak slab, add one here, and one here, and add oak trap doors. Our of those up there. Keep adding a row of them until we get to the very back. Oh, stop right there. Now on this side, it's going to be a bit different. On this side, we're going to like diagonal up here. Add that. And then just keep doing it. And when we get here, just add like a 2x2 two two of the fences, apparently. And then keep do going down until we get like right here. So like 3 down on the right. And then let's add oak trap doors across all this. Okay, that's actually pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. And leave a block, add to oak fence, and keep doing that until we get like a two by two here. 
Let's grab oak trap doors. And that should be it for PNW SD70 M-2. I really hope you guys enjoyed building this train. Um, tonight I will have a rail fanning video on Roblox, and then this should be good for videos. And then tomorrow I'll upload the SpongeBob video, but it might not be like here till tomorrow afternoon. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, sneak peek to the SpongeBob Pixar so far. You got all this leg done. I got the left pant done as well, and I got the arm done. And I stirred the body just a little bit over here. So yeah, that's the SpongeBob so far. Anyway, now we're gonna go, guys. Um, so yeah, see you in actually not too long. And let me just fly over back here. Bye.